I think I really found myself in going to Camp Tawango, and that really brought the awareness in Judaism to show that it was possible, that it wasn't only going to be inside in the shul. And it was like, wow, you can actually be spiritual outside. It was the first time I had seen Adama, the Farming Fellowship. I was so incredibly blown away by the community. Um, <clears throat> I came to Adama and here I was bending and I was lifting and I was hoisting and I was growing things and eating the fruit and I was connecting the food blessings to the overwhelming gratitude I felt for what I was actually experiencing day to day and to then realize actually the Jewish tradition has a vocabulary for saying wow and saying thank you and it's there and, and I want to tap into that. The 2008 food conference, which was a huge catalyst for me. We came home from that so charged up and had this meeting in our house. We just invited all these people in the Jewish community that we knew and said, this thing is happening. We have to be a part of this. Six years ago, nobody knew what a CSA was in the Jewish community. And now if, you, if your shul doesn't have one, it's kind of like, oh, we, we should get one of those. I see, saw a young girl at a day school program and she held up an onion and she said to the teacher, I know what I want to be now in life. And the teacher said, what, what? And she said, an onion farmer. You know, and I knew she wasn't going to be an onion farmer, <laughs> but you know, she had touched the earth and she had come to our Jewish farm and she had spent a Shabbat there and it was absolutely transformative and it was beautiful. So we have uh, hundreds if not thousands of volunteers that come every year onto the property and everything from planting to tending to harvesting. It's done by volunteers of all ages, Jewish and not, a um, lot of kids and families. The farm businesses have grown. We've grown to have a, a you know, significant farm, six acres of vegetables, another four acres of pasture, an organic kosher goat dairy. I'd say the core of that hasn't changed, except we've gotten much better at using productive communal labor as a way of teaching and learning everything from basic Judaism the basic spiritual experience of awe and gratitude to confidence building, leadership development, community building, all that.